How's it going guys? Bullets here and this is going to be a short video on how to do the USS Lexington business battle. So we got a lot of enemies so make sure you guys' armor and health is good to go and we're going to start shooting. Now the alarms will be loud so if it's too loud just turn down your audio. But yeah, that that's the that's the air defense one, man. That one is brutal on the ears. So we're just shooting our way through. We got our carbine rifle out. Go. So since we have plenty of time, we should be able to get a lot of um, business battle crates delivered. There's going to be a lot of them spread out, so we're going to go gonna pull out a salt shotgun. Again, make sure your health is good. There we go. And what we're going to do, we're not going to go outside. Because if we were to take a business battle and fly off with a jet, we would be shot down immediately by the air defenses. So you're going to keep climbing up these stairs. There's going to be a air def a computer there and a computer there that you have to take out. Alright, here we go. By the way, be careful because there's buzzards. Two in there are really accurate with their uh, their machine guns. All right, let's hack this laptop if we can. Man, sometimes this is very weird. There we go. I think it's the numbers hack if I remember correctly. Yep, our character is gonna spin around, put an invisible USB drive, and we're gonna do this. It's 996. Okay. I see a 59, not that one. Here we go. There's the first one. Now we're gonna go straight across to the second one. Now be careful, because I have been rapid fired by these guys in here. Done, okay. Bless you by that guy. Oh crap. Oh, well, nothing I can do about it now. I have to do this quickly. 9887. Got it. I thought there was a guy in here. Okay, no big deal. Okay, now we can go downstairs and start uh, collecting crates. We can deliver them to the nightclub. Then I'll show you guys what I like to do after I deliver my first crate. Play down suppressive fire. There we go. Let's go. LJT is going to text me, but I'm not going to worry about it because the only reason why my businesses are open is because of the nightclub. I have no time, not enough people, and no desire to run my businesses anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to fly to the nightclub. There's that buzzer that I was talking about. Good thing they uh, spawned after I was done with the business battle. So what I'll do is I'll fly to the nightclub, bail out, parachute out, deliver it, and then I'm going to call in my favorite jet, and then we'll, I'll take the sparrow over to that jet. And if you don't have a sparrow, you can use a buzzard, or you can steal a vehicle off the street if you don't have any of those. And we'll fly out and uh, steal more crates. So the reason why this one is so good is because... Uh,
Isn't even gonna take a chance on that guy? No way. I don't know if that guy's friendly or not. Well, you know, it was bound to happen. I don't know why people can't go over to the aircraft carrier. Okay, he died. And um, get their own business. Great. Like, I just took down that whole. See what I mean? Don't mess with, don't mess around with the buzzard man. <laughs> He'll tear you up. Okay. Let's go ahead and pop out the FMJ rounds. Let's go get our business battle and deliver it. I can just run it in because I'm close. Ooh. And be very careful. Be on your feet when you uh these cars because they will run you over. <laughs> Man, I don't know why this game is like this. Come on, I'm a, come on, I'm here. There we go. Was it that difficult? Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys the jet I'm gonna spawn in. It's gonna be this one. Fast, easy to land, very easy to use. Let's go spawn our sparrow. Which spawned on the other street, of course it did. So I think if you want the sparrow to spawn on that street, turn your camera around like this and then call it in. But yeah. Maybe I should have done that. Okay, my. Yep, yeah, okay. Because it always spawns in the. Uh, uh, I'll call it the riverbed for aircraft. And I don't know why they park it like that, because then you have to turn it and then take off. It's, uh, quite stupid. Okay. You should be able to get at least a few more crates. After this bridge, we'll take off. Now, if you want to just do it fast and easy, what you guys can do is you can, uh, let me make sure that there's no player at the... Okay, it's just an enemy buzzer. What you guys can do is you can, like, take a boat over, or your Torador. What you do is you go over there, you quickly grab a crate, you take your Torador back and then you take uh, some kind of helicopter back to your nightclub. Now that process can be pretty time consuming because it takes a while to cross the water, especially in a boat or uh, the submarine vehicle like the Torador. So if you're brave enough, this is going to be your, your more time effective approach. And it's really easy once you get the hang of it. Okay, let's see where this mother is at. This is not going to be easy, you guys. Let's make our landing.
Now, we'll get this one, because it's closest to us. Perfect. Let's go deliver it. So I hope this video is proof to you guys that you can do this solo. Now, I was in an invite-only session with three other people, and I probably told this story before, but none of them were like, I ain't going over there, it's too difficult. It's like, shit, I'll do it. So I took the jet by myself, or sorry, not the jet, but the, the Lexington on by myself. And then I got all the air defenses down, and to make a long story short, we were able to deliver two each. Okay, so that guy was hostile. Two business battles each, because I was brave enough to go over there. And you guys saw, I wa I mopped the floor with those guys. It was so easy. But yeah, uh, this is why I like having this uh, nightclub location as well, because it's easy to land an aircraft by and then take off again. I'm not sure if every nightclub is like this, but I know this one is. And it's in a fairly decent location. You know, it's not on the top of the where the Vinewood Hills are, but it's not down where Alicia Island is. It's right in the middle and has easy access to the freeway. And any with one of these businesses, you want easy access to the freeway because you're probably going uh, out of the city to deliver your product, so always keep that in mind when choosing a location. Okay, let's back her up. Now, I don't know how skilled that pink guy was in the jet. He didn't seem to be very skilled because he didn't hit me with the cannons. And the, you guys know that that's the easiest way to kill the jet. Not the missiles because they can just avoid them. But it was probably best I bailed out when I did. As you guys can see, my nightclub is uh, going up. And the reason why the weapons is the best is because it takes the longest time to max out your profit. I think it takes real life uh, over 70 hours if I remember, 78. And that's not in game time, that's real life hours. That you have to be on this game and the product has to be producing in the background. So any chance you get to knock time off of that clock, take advantage of it. Sure, it'll cut into your uh, heist grind, but trust me, the faster you can get a nightclub sale going, the better it is, because that nightclub is so good at making money. And it, the nightclub is really going to depend on how long you're, uh, you're going to be on that day, or on in general, because the more you're on, the more your stuff is going to build inside of the inside of the warehouse okay this time we're gonna pull up a little bit because the uh, oh here we go watch this one we're gone and I'm surprised no one else is trying to mess with us because usually people are I know that one pink guy tried to but he failed miserably I don't know if he's uh, terrible at jets or whatnot, but if you would have tried, I have uh, an explosive sniper ready to go, so. And the reason why I have an explosive sniper ready to go is because I'm helping randoms with their heist, and it's essentially a long range rocket launcher, so. So you want to have those explosive rounds if you're not going against people. If you get caught to a sniper battle, try and get out of there, and switch to your regular rounds so that way you can uh you don't have to go back to your when your weapon workshops to fill up your ammo so often and if you need a little help put those fire rounds on uh it usually is a one shot if you can hit somebody um maybe some higher ranks it might be still be a two shot but most people it is a one shot so
we'll probably get one more crate and then we'll call it good because the time is winding down oh and and another thing is, is uh yeah I wasn't taking any chances with that guy anyways uh the more you uh or if you have your nightclub it's on the map what do you mean, how did I find this ship? Anyways, um... Let's say you have your nightclub in Vinewood, and you do... Anyways, let's say if you have your, uh... Your nightclub in Vinewood, uh, it's going to extend your trip on how many crates you can get. The best, believe it or not, the best nightclub location for this is going to be Elysian Island due to how close it is for this aircraft carrier. And that's probably the only reason why you want to have the Elysian Island nightclub location. Otherwise, everything else is terrible. If you try to do a popularity mission or a sail mission, you have to go all the way to Polito. You have at least a seven, eight mile drive. But if you like doing this particular business battle, get that location. But otherwise, I really can't recommend it. I started out with it, and I, I've i changed my location a couple times. I've gotten that one, and then I went to Vinewood because I moved my... Um, I moved my arcade, and then I moved my arcade, so I moved my nightclub back, and it's just, yeah. Perfect. There's a crate right here. I'm going to grab it and go. What do you mean always? No, when the business battle's going on. So as you guys can see, we're going to be able to deliver four uh, business battle crates. And if the time was at the maximum, like 30 minutes, we, I might have been able to do another crate probably, but I think I did really well. So if someone else takes some of the crates, let them, because you, you cannot physically deliver all of them to your nightclub, because it's just... Maybe if you have the Legion, you could get six or seven, but other than that... Alright you guys, that's going to be the end of this video, hope you guys enjoyed, that is how you take down a USS Lexington aircraft carrier. Like, dislike, comment, subscribe, look at that, we got $909,000 ready to go. Like, dislike, comment, subscribe, and with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one, take care.